So what I'd like to do now is explore the functions of ideology and really begin to analyze some examples of media texts to expose their ideological function. So when we talk about the functions of ideology, we're looking at three things um, for our purposes, at least anyway. We're looking at the ways in which ideology normalizes particular ways of seeing the world, how ideology normalizes ways of seeing the world. Secondly, we're looking at how ideology limits the range of acceptable ideas in a particular context. So what is acceptable and what is unacceptable? And thirdly, we're looking at the way in which ideology privileges some interests over others. And by virtue of that, how the media works to define socially powerful groups. So how does it create kind of in groups and out groups? And what I want to do in the next few examples is explore these ideological functions of media in, in a bit more detail and conduct some textual analysis that then you can apply to the activities that we'll be doing in tutorials.